head of the Chinese army in Hong Kong has spoken out in strong terms against months of street protests in the territory. Chen Daosheng said unrest should not be tolerated. Stoking fears of military intervention, he gave his support to rigorously enforce the law. Recent street protests have seen violent clashes between demonstrators and police with tear gas and rubber bullets being fired. His comments were echoed by Hong Kong's former chief executive, Tung Chi Hua, who said the protests were being orchestrated by the U.S. and Taiwan and added that whatever violence was being deployed by protesters should be stopped. We will never allow the small number of people to take advantage of the tolerance of the society and the government and use violent means to hurt economic and social order in Hong Kong and damage the relationship between the central government and the Hong Kong Special Administration government. Well, for more now, I'm joined by DW's China policy analyst Clifford Kunin. Clifford, what do you make of these comments by China's Hong Kong military commander and former chief executive? Very pointed comments. They are, and I think it's. I always think of the pile of pennies theory here. That you know, individually, either of these um, events would be um, would be pretty serious. Put together, um, it, they become quite worrying. Uh, Tung Shi Wa, who's a very respected figure, um, seen slightly as a, a slightly moderating figure, um, but he's come out with these pretty, pretty um, serious comments about what's happening. And then obviously this video then coming from uh, the PLA, uh, everyone is worried about the PLA in, in Hong Kong um, on the democracy side. When you say the PLA, it's the People's Liberation Army. This is the Chinese mainland army that is garrisoned in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. um, Let's talk about that video a little bit. It shows troops quelling a protest uh, in an urban area, presumably Hong Kong, quite worrying. What do you make of all this? Well, there's lots of things about the video. It's, it's uh, the, at one point, one of the soldiers is uh, speaking in Cantonese and saying, uh, uh, you know, you bear, the, you bear the consequences of your actions. Um, it, it isn't Hong Kong, probably, but it's in an area that looks very like it. It's urban uh, environment. There's people being arrested wearing, um, you know, um, civilian clothes. So there's um, a lot of issues there. Also, there's heavy ordnance, as we can see, uh, tear gas. So a lot of the, the symbolism and the imagery and the, uh, the exercises being drilled are clearly aimed at Hong Kong. Now, there are concerns that we could see another Tiananmen Square situation in Hong Kong. Uh, there's some people very worried about that, that the military could come in and brutally suppress pro-democracy demonstrations. Do you think that is a plausible scenario? I think this is always the fear with Hong Kong because it's um, looking at, um, at 30 years since Tiananmen Square cracked down. Um, it's on people's minds. Uh, also, the fact that the police seem a little bit disillusioned with the way things are going. They're under investigation for various for their behaviour in certain incidents. Uh, ordinarily, I think Beijing would be quite happy to leave it to the Hong Kong police who've taken a very hard line. Um, I think uh, myself, given that this year is the 70th anniversary of the founding of China, they're not going to want anything that's majorly destabilising. And I think to bring in troops into Hong Kong in a major way would be quite destabilising. So I, I personally don't think that an that a, um, invasion or a massive intervention would be, would be the case. But it's definitely a hardening of approach and um, we could see some kind of limited intervention by the, by the People's Liberation Army into, into Hong Kong. Clifford, thank you very much. DW China policy analyst Clifford Coonan.